After all the laser beaks, we finally got a buzzsaw. Is this a joke to you? Feared from the skies, flying up into the air to spy on the Maximals or rain down fire upon them. But what many don't realize is that Buzzsaw is actually pretty cowardly and would rather keep his distance from an actual fight. The original Predacon version of Buzzsaw, no relation to the cassette, was a repaint of the Beast Wars Waspinair toy released in 1996. And with the new Kingdom mold, he got a new figure as a Legacy Walmart exclusive. Special thanks to TFA1024 for sending this. As a repaint, Buzzsaw transforms into a Wasp. And compared to Waspinair, there's some things I prefer and others I'm just not certain about. I like the weird texture on the body. I think the color on the face really highlight the details, including the eyes, and I love the yellow paint. The back is bulky and smooth, with the stripes staying consistent between the parts as the weapon stores here, and I'm loving the smoky black wings like oil. The mandibles, antennas, legs with the back two combined, and the wings can move, though on mine the wings could be tighter. I want to appreciate the legs fading from black that leads to the yellow arms, but with Waspinair, most of the kibble was green so it seems to blend with the bug. This has so many bright colors mixed in that it doesn't work. Work. Still, it's a gross bug you'd find hovering over the recycling bins. I think I'd like it more if somehow the kibble was better positioned or hidden, but otherwise, I like the dark black and yellow combination. The setup also doesn't feel like Bumblebee, so that's good. Robot mode. Waspinator! Wait, that's not him. The transformation on Waspinator was finicky and too loose in certain areas of the waist, but for some reason on my copy of Buzzsaw, it's tight in all the right places. Even the tab stays in place, though your copy might vary with that issue. Besides that, compared to the alt mode, the colors are way better here. Hell, the green and purple nearly feels out of place, but helps to accompany this Predacon outfit. The yellow seems to spread more, but the black still takes over, making for a dark appearance. I just love the fade to color in the legs. I'm personally adoring the bug-eyed boobles, the oil-covered wings, and his juicy booty. The head swaps out for the robot design rather than the wasp's mutant version, which I'm glad about. Most images I see use it, and the transparent green visor looks amazing. I'll tell you what, did someone say I'll take, I'll say I'll take it, I shall. Ball joint to head, shoulders out and in, forward to back rotation, below elbow bent, wrist rotation, waist rotation, hips out and in, forward to back rotation, below knee bend, foot forward, back and tilt. If you can get past the insect legs hitting something, posability seems pretty pretty fair. This knee on mine seems a bit too tight, but aside from that, he's the sturdiest of the Walmart exclusive Beast Wave I've got. Let's take a look at the accessory. Take out the butt, and there you get, I think this is from Slugterra. It's nearly identical to the paint on wasps, just missing a few of the stripes. It's a stinger, I could see it's sculpted underneath, but without the flip out feature, it just looks like he's about to ice a cake, or it's something from the game High on Life. Still waiting on the little yellow cassette to fly onto the shelves, but for now, we've got this little guy. And to be honest, I like it a lot. I almost got the original toy, so to have a new version of it is still pretty cool. This also expands my Predacon, so that's good. I know the quality of my copy doesn't mean yours will be the same, but I'm pretty satisfied with the design as is, and the colors really work on it. Special thanks to TFA1024 for sending this. Wait, so the one with Buzz in the name is not part of Buzzworthy, but... The hairless cat Dinobot is? All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.